Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm doing a, a review slash a pros and cons on the new ZTE Z Max Pro. I'm gonna give you all the pros, all the cons, and hopefully help you make a decision if this is the next phone for you. So let's jump right into pros. So we've got a six inch screen, which is massively big. This is actually bigger than the uh, iPhone 6S Plus and the Note 7, uh, as well as the screen is uh, Corning Gorilla Glass 3. So not only is it a huge screen, but it is a very beautiful and bright screen. Uh, it is an IPS LCD 1080p screen, so it's, again, so bright, so vibrant. Um, so that's the first pro right there. It's just awesome screen. Um, in terms of storage, uh, for this to be a prepaid phone, um, uh, 32 gigs internal is what it uh, comes with and in terms of what the user what you actually have access to is about 24 gigs so 24 gigs uh, out of the box that you get to use it is also expandable uh, which is another great pro micro SD slot and you can put up to a 256 gigabyte uh, card in there so if you're looking for just uh, like damn near a ton of storage. This is a great option because you can put so much in there. Um, does have fingerprint scanner on the back and you can register up to five fingers. So we even found some really cool things where you can register. So like if this finger unlocks the phone, you can have it launch a specific app. But if a different finger that's registered, you put on there, it'll launch a different app. So that was really cool. Something unique that I've really never seen uh, with fingerprint scanners. However, I have not tried every single uh, fingerprint scanner out there. So it could already exist, but it was my first time experiencing that. Um, in terms of battery, once again, another monster uh, 3400 milliamp, which is actually a bigger battery than you get in the iPhone 6S Plus. So that's just showing you already two ways this phone really trumps uh, the latest iPhone 6S Plus. Uh, it does have the built-in uh, accelerometer, which will allow you to play Pokemon Go. So if you're one of those people who are concerned that maybe you won't be able to play that game, uh, never fear, that is built-in, so you will be able to do that. Um, this phone is uh, pretty darn fast. Uh, it does have a Snapdragon octa-core processor with two gigs of RAM. So uh, it's nice and quick. We even have a video on how to speed it up as well. So make sure you check out that too. Um, in terms of price, this is what really blew me away when I saw this phone. This phone basically, it retails for about 180, but if you get it at uh, Metro PCS, you can get it for $99 with a, uh, a new line of service. And they've got some crazy deal. This is just August 2016. Until the end of the month, if you already have a line with Metro, you can add another line and actually get this phone for half price. So I actually got this phone for like basically 50 bucks and you have to pay for the first month of service. So basically around 75, 80 bucks, but still even cheaper than the new activation price. So uh, that does last within the month. So definitely take advantage of that. Um, in terms of camera, 13 megapixel on the rear with uh, optical image stabilization and a five megapixel front camera. And when we did test out the camera, it's very thorough and uh, don't mind that call. Very thorough and um, it did take some really awesome pictures and you get a lot of extra manual modes and filters and HDR. So it's not just a basic camera. It's really got a lot of stuff stocked in there. Um, uh, finally, uh, last pro is that uh, it is compatible with the Qualcomm Quick Charge 1.0. So basically this phone charges up to 40% faster than like the average Android phone. So, um, you know, that was one thing that I, I rarely ever see on like prepaid phones or phones in this price point is faster charging. So that's definitely something that makes it stand out as well. In terms of cons, there's a couple. So you don't have any uh, like multitasking capability, which is something that uh, I love to do on my um, uh, Galaxy S7 Edge. And uh, you don't see it a lot on phones in this price point, and obviously you don't see it on this one. So that was kind of a disappointment with a screen that big. I'd love to do like a split screen and have multiple apps open, but that is not available right now. Um, in terms of the battery, it is not removable, so you cannot open the back of the phone. Um, so it just kind of is what it is. Uh, it is sealed and for probably more so design purposes. So um, that is a little bit of a bummer. 
Um, no wireless charging capability, which is something that you're seeing on a lot more phones that come out. So I do love that it has fast charging, but or quick charge, but it'd be nice if it had wireless charging too. Obviously there's cases you can buy to make it work, but it'd be nice if out of the box you could do that. Um, another sort of con is that there's not really like a lot of extras or unique features to this phone aside from the fingerprint scanner. Somebody's trying to get to me, but we're, we're going to keep it pushing. Um, basically, uh, you know, like the Stylo 2 Plus, for example, it does have the uh, stylus pin that's built in. And you can find some phones that have like, you know, an IR blaster or just those like unique standout features. So that was one of those things where I, I wish this had a little bit more. It's just very basic. Um, it's big, it's fast, long battery, all that, but it just, there's not a lot of extra features. So, you know, like if you were looking at this and like a Note 7, obviously that's a big jump, but the Note is packed with all kind of extra stuff you can do. Uh, obviously it has the uh, S Pen as well. So anyway, uh, more basic. Finally, last thing, uh, the charging port. This is actually a type C charger which is not necessarily a con but i put it in that category because a lot of people don't have type c chargers so i'm sure you've got a ton of micro usb chargers from older android phones so it'll kind of suck you'll have to buy a few extra chargers like maybe you want to have like a car charger and it does come with a home charger obviously but that's one thing that's nice with other phones is that you know you've got 10 micro USB cables at home, so it's not a big deal, but now you're gonna have to kind of reinvest to get uh, more of those newer cables. So anyway, guys, uh, pros and cons worth it a waste. I think this phone and the specs speak for themselves. This is definitely a worth it, and uh, definitely a phone I think that you guys should get and enjoy and have some fun with. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to Tech videos, and have a good one.